guys in this video we will learn how to use python semaphore to control the number of threads that can access a shared resource simultaneously a python semaphore is a synchronization primitive that allows you to control access to a shared resource basically a semaphore is a counter associated with a lock that limits the number of threads that can access a shared resource simultaneously a semaphore maintains a count when a thread wants to access the shared resource the semaphore checks the count a semaphore has two main operation acquire operation and release operation so now let's see how we can implement semaphore in our python program before moving further i wanted to show you there is a one location on my computer screen wherein i have five files in voice one two three four five right so we have just entered one text basis on countries us invoice similarly in the second file we have entered uk invoice okay so all five files have some words and these file we are going to read from this location in our python program you can consider this location might be a shared location on the network right let me minimize this i'm using editor pycham and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer first you have to import writing name space okay and then you have to create a object semaphore so we can limit our threads here by specifying a number i want to say three only three threads can access my shared resource at a time right so this is the second step now we have to use the semaphore object we have to use both operation release and acquire which we have already seen in our previous examples okay so first what we have to do we have to read our old files right from that location i have some code handy to save some time this is a simple function read invoice which will be having a file name from the thread we will be opening these files okay from this input output operation open function and then we are going to read the file and then we have to print the file content on the console right so we will be mentioning which thread is accessing this file and what data we have now retrieved from the file this we are going to print right this is string format we have used let's say if you want to execute this function so i am saying one and i am saying invoice one dot txt right if you run the program so you will see us invoice this text is written however we have not created any of the thread yet neither we have used semaphore object right i wanted to show you how this function works okay so in the same way we are going to read all the files but with the help of semaphore with the help of threadings i have some more statement ready to save some more time right so what i have done here i have created five threads right thread one thread two thread three thread four thread five right each thread is referring the read invoice function which is accepting these arguments i which means thread id we have passed here anything you have you can pass here just to identify which thread is running and another argument is that is invoice dot txt right means we have mentioned the file name each file name invoice one invoice two invoice three invoice four invoice five so all five invoices text files would be open up and they would be read out and they would be printed on the console right if you're in the program so all your thread would be running and then they will be printing the data like one two three four five okay right so these are five files but we have not yet implemented semaphore here right to make sure whether your resource is safe you have to protect your resource with the help of this semaphore object okay so you have to use semaphore dot acquire you have to use and as soon as the file is read you have to release okay if you run the program now so there is no impact on the output right output would be still same but here we have ensured how we are going to say only three threads at a time would be open up the file and they would be reading the content if you don't want to use acquire and release so you can use with okay so with semaphore right
so this statement will itself take a log and release the log okay so with the help of the keyword you can do the same thing you can perform both operation okay release and acquire both if you're in the programs so the output would be the same okay another way if you don't want to retain this much of code in the thread there is other way as well you just take a thread list object then you start one range that will run one to six which means it will run five times it would be creating five thread right and it would be appending the thread into the list of thread object and from here you would be passing thread id and the invoice one two three would be passing like this and you will wait all threads are completed and then you will join the main thread right if you're in the program so output would be still same right two times it will because first this block would be executed second this block so that's why 10 times we have read the file this is another way of doing runtime threading right i hope you are now clear with the concept of semaphore which means you can control the number of threads that can access a shared resource simultaneously okay that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video